How's it going guys? Welcome back to Oblivion. Now in this part, we're going to be taking a break from the main story, purely because I just want to like show you how to cure vampirism. Now we're a vampire, which sucks and we look like a goddamn great, but it's fine, because I'll teach you how to do it. So basically the shit you're going to need, right, is you need two bloodgrass shoots, okay, six cloves of garlic, and I think five nightshade leaves, but get a few more just in case, I can't exactly remember. And then you also need uh, five grand soul gems, okay? I think. Yeah, five grand with no with no soul in them. None at all, okay? Um, and that's it, really. But what you want to do first is you want to go into your nearest chapel, okay? And you need to wait until... Uh, yeah, we do. You need to wait until daytime because fuck all, nobody will be there. Nobody at all. Like, not even the priest who's meant to be at the church all the time is not there. Right, this this will do. We're at we're daytime now. And then you want to find... You'll go up to some people, for instance, and this will happen. Get back, you filthy beast. I'll have nothing to do with the likes of you. Because you're a filthy vampire, nobody hates you. But there is a kind soul. Hail, savior of Bruma. Like this guy that you can go up to and do cure for vampirism. A cure? You mean besides death? No, oh, thanks. Such a thing is beyond our control. The body is so warped by vampirism, few would be able to revert its effects. Even fewer would care to try. The Guild of Mages might know more. Speak with Reminus Polis. He may be able to guide you. Well, there you go. We need to go see Reminus Polis. Farewell. Now, at this point in the playthrough, we haven't really like met Reminus Polis before, but he's he's a pretty he's a pretty big he's a pretty big. Uh, Oh, yeah, we need to get back inside because we need to wait until nighttime. Because if you're out in the daytime, you will slowly die. And you can't fast travel there. And if you wait, you'll just, like, insta-die. It's a pain in the ass. That's why nobody wants to be a vampire in Oblivion. Because it is just a waste of time. And, like, if you feed regularly, like, bite people and suck their blood, then you'll be alright. We need to say, like, the quest. Alright, um... The Arcane University. But yeah, if you feed regularly, then you'll be fine. But it's not worth it. Because you end up just getting into jail. You can't steal stuff. Is everything it's all just... Right? You look a bit Ill. People say that to you. Now, we need to wait in this lobby until daytime. Because it, it, it involves a lot of waiting around being a vampire. And trying to cure yourself. Literally so much waiting around. Because you just got to keep waiting Have for like well daytime. Recently? Oh, Ramanus, how you doing? Welcome to the Arcane University. You're off of vampirism. I'm pleased that you would ask. There is a way, though it's not known to me. Countess Sildor of Skingrad has done the most recent research on a cure, I believe. He's what you might call a vested interest in the subject. I suggest you travel there and seek an audience with him. Given your condition, I believe he may assist you. Okay, off we go. Now his usual. We need to wait till daytime. But his um his usual person that you speak to, I think it was like a a guy in a green like outfit. Um, if you speak to him, you'll see what happens. This guy. No, not this guy. This guy. No, no, stay away from me. He doesn't like it at all. So we need to speak to. Hal Leers. Greetings. Do you have business at Castle Skingrad? I do. I must see the Count. I'm afraid the Count does not see anyone without an approved appointment. Do you have an appointment? No, it's about the cure for vampirism. I see. Please, wait here one moment. I shall speak with the Count. Okay. Take care. So she fucks off to go get the count for you. Wait an hour. Um. Are you not feeling well? Count Hasseldor should be down in a minute. I'll wait another hour just to be sure. He takes his time. He takes his time indeed. Yes. Anvil is all Where is he? First the chapel attack, now the there he is. You the should the world. Really... I understand you're Dogs. looking for a cure for vampirism. This is fortunate. As I also seek the cure. Why would you want the cure? I wish to tell you a story so that you might understand why 
I would trust you with my secrets. Would you hear it? All right. Sure. More than 50 years ago, my wife Rona and I were both turned into vampires. While I came to embrace the changes in myself, she did not. She hated what she had become and refused to feed to keep herself healthy. She eventually slipped into a coma from which she is not awoken. My trusted servants have cared for her all this time, but I wish for her to at last find peace. The cure is for her. I have researched what I can, but acquiring the cure is beyond my grasp. I cannot risk drawing too much attention to myself. So I would ask that you take up the search on my behalf. If you are successful, I will reward you in whatever small way I can. Will you aid me? Yeah, sure. Honestly, why not? What little I have discovered points to the witches of Glen Morrill. In the past, they have been capable of creating a cure. I have searched for these witches throughout Cyrodiil, but no coven still exists within its borders. There may be one left. I have unconfirmed reports of a woman seen near the Corbolo River, who fits the description of these witches. Seek her out, and learn whether she can help. She lives somewhere along the river, east of the Imperial City and south of Chaden Hall. If you are successful in finding a cure, report to my steward. You have my thanks. Sure, let's go. Now, a um, little Bye. like insight into where you get the um, the ingredients. The soul gems. Just go to like the um, mages' guilds around uh, Cyrodiil. I'd recommend like Coral Mages' Guild. Um, that is the the probably the one where you can go down into the basement. I think it's Coral or Shaden Hall. Um, you go into there, and you can steal them from the basement, I believe. There's like two in a thing. Um, and then with the Blood Grass, you can find that in Oblivion, in the uh, Realm of Oblivion, or just outside of some Oblivion gates. The Garlic, if you go to Skingrad, it's literally in every single house. Uh, Nightshade, you can go to um, Frostcrag Spire, there's some there, you can buy it from merchants, or you can literally find it in the wild. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Okay, let's go. Um, we need to seek out this woman. South of Shadenhall. There we go. We will go to the Blackwater side stables and run south. Oh, okay. Look, see, if you look in the oh. left right now, you'll see how quickly your health goes down just by being in direct sunlight. We need to wait until the night time. Completely forgot about that. Right, so I've arrived at Drake Lau, which is the place where you have to find the witch. Now, the witch's name... It's very I similar to a character from Game of Thrones, Melisande. What it's... brings you to this neck of the woods, sir? You're for vampirism, please. Oh my. What makes you think I would know about such a thing? Because you're a witch. Oh my dear, I gave up witchcraft a long, long time ago. But a cure for vampirism, that's something I haven't thought about in quite some time. Very challenging and potentially dangerous. If you do a little something for me, I'll help you. How does that sound? Um, yeah, sure. I have my own interests, and they occasionally require resources that are difficult for me to acquire. Soul gems, for example. If you can bring me five empty grand soul gems, I'm quite sure I can help you with this cure that you seek. I shall await your return. Okay. So basically, you just back out of there, Good to go see back you in. Again. Do you have the soul gems I requested? I have them. Oh, wonderful. These will be most useful to me. Now to the matter at hand. You need a cure for vampirism, yes? I believe I can create a potion that will do the trick. But it requires a few things. To start, I'll need six cloves of garlic, two shoots of blood grass, and five leaves of nightshade. Those will be easy enough for you to find. But I'll also need the blood of an Argonian and the ashes of a powerful vampire. Those may be more difficult for you to acquire. Any old Argonian will do, but the vampire must be very powerful indeed. 
If you succeed, I'll get you what you need. Any questions? Um, yeah, Argonian blood. This dagger has been specially treated. All you need to do is stab an Argonian with it, and there'll be enough blood on it to use. Any old Argonian will do, and you needn't kill it, but do be careful. Stabbing strangers often doesn't sit well with townspeople or the town guards. And then, uh, Vampire Ash. This one is difficult. It may be quite a trial for you. But if you are successful, it will make the cure all the more worth it. You have come across a vampire or two in your travels, perhaps? I assure you, they are nothing like what you must face. The vampire you seek is powerful. So powerful that those who sought to destroy him were unsuccessful, no matter what they tried. The best they could do was to imprison him underground, where he survives to this day. Search near the North Panther River for Hinderil. If you can vanquish him, his ashes will be more than adequate for my needs. Okay. So, now you've done that. Be seeing you. Uh, hopefully it's not daytime. Okay, it's not just yet. First thing you want to do, okay, with the Argonian blood... I'd recommend, if you're vampirized and you're dying in daylight, uh, travel to the Imperial Bridge Inn, okay? Because... Oh god, what the hell is happening to my horse? Um, what if we ride it? Oh no, never mind. Um, I think it's 12am, yeah, so we're good. So if it's daytime uh, when you get here, right, wait until daytime, no, wait until nighttime, but if it's already nighttime, then... You want to go to the Periite Shrine. That's just here. As you can see, that's the door to um, a strange door to the Shivering Isles. There's Braville. You just follow this river along, and it's near the R on Silverfish River. If you want to go there, this is like the most, um, I think, the easiest, uh, the easiest, <laughs> the easiest way to get Argonian blood. See, there's um, there's this cheeky bastard here. Okay, he's just completely fucking. He stands in this circle with his mates all day, and he doesn't do shit, so you just want to whack him. Melisandre's dagger is covered in Argonian blood. I should deliver it to her so she can brew the potion. You can't actually kill these guys, by the way. They just, they don't, they don't do shit. Right, so, you've got that now. Um, next, you, what you want to do is you want to go... Oh, I can't, apparently. I changed my weapon. Um... Is you want to travel, I think, yeah, it's down here. So, we can run straight from the Periite Shrine, okay, to the next area. It's, um, the most direct route. Uh, and it's called, like, uh, Red Water Slog or something. Something along the lines of that, I believe. But I'll, um, I'll ride down there now. Right, Red Water Slog. Or Sluge, or whatever you want to call it. Um, we're here now. Some, like, wolf chase me or something. We'll head inside. Now, this is, like, really easy to maneuver. Like, to, like, work your way around. It's pretty creepy. Like, look at this shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Um. But there, there are a few vampires in here that you can kill. But I'm not going to bother going for all of them. Um. You just want to run along. Actually, no. Um. That's the point, actually. You want to turn right first. Because there's something you need before you go that way. Um. Your left here. I've got water walking boots, so I'm gonna have to jump. There we go. Under here. And up here. And if you go up here, there's actually a chest here with a red water slog key. Which is very useful. There's a zombie there if you want the mortar flesh. For any reason at all. Um to jump. Underwater. No, never mind. <laughs> it's so hard to go underwater if you've got water walking. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Right, she's dead. Vampire dust, that's always useful. And she's got us underwater, that's useful. Right, okay. Um, back up here. And then we'll kill this skeleton just because it's in the way. Um, back along here. And there's this door here that we went to before. You can pick lock it, but it's better to get the key. Save you pick locks. And then you want to turn left down here. Or do you? 
No, you want to continue this way. There's a chest there. Let's loot it. Some potions. Vampires don't really have much apart from, like, potions. Just average shit, really. And then they have vampire dust, which is also quite useful. Uh, we'll go up here. And our vampire should be just around this corner. Mastery the skeletons. Uh, where is he? Down this way? By Ismir's beard. We've, We've got, got another vampire here. Oh. We got him. He was a Nord. Um, then just through here, here's our vampire. He actually doesn't attack you. He just fucks off. He runs as fast as he can until he can find a weapon. You just want to kill him like straight away. But then he finds a weapon and he's slightly harder to take down. But then yeah, he's dead. Um, Ashes of Hinderil. He's so easy to kill. I've collected the Ashes of Hinderil for Melisande. I should bring them to her at once. Okay, so now you just gotta fuck off back to her. Uh, there's something you gotta do before she'll actually accept your ingredients. Um, uh, because it's a bit weird and it's a bit, like, buggy. Um, here we go. Let's speak to her. Excuse me. Talk. What brings you to this neck of the woods, sir? So, with the Argonium, no, no, with the Bloodgrass, if you've not spoken to her about how to get the Bloodgrass first, she'll come up with another dialogue box. A most interesting plant, from the plains of oblivion itself, so it may require some effort to find. Should your travels happen to take you to a place where it grows, keep your eyes open. Cool, and then you've got to talk to her about it again to actually give it to her. Ah, oh, excellent. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble for you. Okay, you have to do the same with garlic and nightshade. You're familiar with it, aren't you? Often used in cooking. It should be quite easy to find. Then you speak garlic again. Six cloves, just like I asked for. Very good. Nightshade. Perhaps not quite as easy to find as garlic, but if you're determined, you'll find it. Keep your eyes open, as it often grows in the wild. Wonderful. I do hope you didn't try to eat any of it. It can have very nasty effects on one such as yourself. Okay, and then Vampire Ash. Hinderal is destroyed? Yeah. You are indeed a force to be reckoned with. I shall take the ashes. Finally, some part of him can be put to good use. And then, uh, Argonian blood. I'll just take that dagger back from you. It should have more than enough blood for my needs. I do hope it didn't cause too much trouble. You're for vampirism. I have everything I need. Now all that remains is to brew the potion. This, however, is a task with which you cannot assist. Give me 24 hours. I shall have the potion ready for you then. Right, now, if you're a vampire like me that dies in direct sunlight, you can't actually wait in her house. So... I suggest quick saving, running absolutely as fast as you can, healing yourself every single second, and get up at this mountain as fast as you can. So, um, one thing you want to do is come to the top of this hill here, and there's a mine. Now, in this mine, you can actually wait, like, 24 hours for her to do the potion. Like, if because if you wait outside, even if it's nighttime, you'll die as soon as it comes to daytime, because the vampire effects will just, like, burn you away. Um... Alternatively, there's an oblivion gate just down the uh, just down the road, uh, down the river. You can follow the river. The river, the river like slows down the effects of vampirism. Uh, then you can wait inside the oblivion gate. You might want to like take out a few of the scamps or whatever. But um, yeah, as soon as you've waited, you just want to hop back down to her house, and she should have the potion ready for you. Um, yeah, it's such a pain, like traveling around and stuff. Um, as a as a vampire is such a pain in the ass because you have to keep waiting till night time. And here she is. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. I have something for you. You're for vampirism. The cure you seek is ready. I'm quite pleased with the results. The batch came out larger than I'd expected. There's enough for two doses of the potion. Unless I'm mistaken, I believe this dose is promised to someone. Should you ever have need of another for personal reasons, I can provide it. 
Our work here is done. You should be on your way. Well, there you go. We have the cure for vampirism now. Um, we can take one ourselves. Cure for vampirism. Boom. Look at that. Back to looking like our normal self. We're no longer a vampire. We no longer look like a grape. We look like a burnt grape, which is always better. Now, Bye. oh, why walk when you can run has always been your, whatever, okay. Um, right, now we need to go back to Hasselhoff, back in Skingrad, and give him his potion for his wife. Um, it always helps. We actually don't have to wait around for nighttime now, because we can... We can, we can, we can be in the daytime. It's great. I love it. Um, let's speak to her. Welcome back. Have you completed your task for the Count? I have. Yes, it seems that you do. The Count will be pleased. Please, follow me. Okay, I shall follow you. Yeah, we, we, we look normal now. It's great. Now, I'm not sure you can actually, um, once you've taken the cure, I don't think you can actually get, um, vamped anymore. The count awaits within. Please do not delay. Okay. Boom, there we go. Another thing I want to check is if I'm, oh, I'm ready to level up. We need to go do that at some point. Like, um, I went to go to sleep to level up and I got turned into a vampire again. All right. Count Hasseldor. Time grows short. The cure must be administered as soon as possible. Please, hand it over. Okay. Melisanda has agreed to help revive Rona long enough for her to drink the potion and finally be at peace. Cool. If you are quiet, you may remain. Now stand aside. I can bring her around for a short time. You must be quick. Oh, God. Rona, my dear, it's time to wake up. What? Janice, please, no. Oh, let me sleep. Oh, please let me sleep. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I've come to give you peace at last. I can rest. Truly. Yes, my dear. Just drink this, and it will all be better. Oh, Janice, thank you. Thank you for saving me. How are you today? <laughs> Go on, get it down, yeah. Hey! He doesn't look very cured. <laughs> Jesus! Well, there you go. I just got 22 gold on it. 26 gold. Nice. My wife. My beautiful wife. Now is not the time for discussion. Give me a day's time to set her affairs in order. Speak with Hylers tomorrow. All right, sure thing. Please, leave me to my grief. I speak to... Oh. Please, go. Uh, uh, all right, I just want to speak to Melisande. Hush, child, this is serious. Okay, sorry. So I'll go wait in the, uh, in the main place. So yeah, there you go. That's the cure for uh, vampirism quest. That's how you do it. I mean, it, it's such a pain, and I know the struggles. Literally, collecting all of those materials um, took me so long, and it was so frustrating. I had to go, like, I had to wait until night time to go to places. I couldn't, could barely ever visit any kind of shop without running in the daylight and, like, wasting loads of healing potions. It's just, it's more grief than it's worth. There you go. It is good to see you again, my friend. I cannot thank you enough for helping me rescue Rona from the terrible state she was in. I hope that she has found the peace she sought. I'd like to offer you a reward for your efforts. Okay, what's this reward? It seems you've been cured of vampirism yourself, so I can offer no help in that regard. I can, however, present you with a sum of money. Thank you again. I shall rest easier now, knowing that Rona no longer suffers. Cool. Well, there you go. Quest completed. Count Hasselhoff thanked me for finding a cure for his wife. Good well, there you go. Hi there. We did it. We cured the vampirism, and that's how you do it. Now, um, that's it for this part. Next part, we will 
probably conclude the main storyline. Might take two parts for that, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.